Hey, what's going on? Uh, Zfix Education. My name is the Cool Ninja Guy, and this is about my 15th time recording this tutorial for you guys. So I really hope you appreciate it. Uh, what I'm showing you today is called the Audio Spectrum. You'll see one at the top for my voice, and one at the bottom for the background music. Thank you to Dr. Beats for that. Um, go check out his channel. The link will be in the description. So we're gonna hop into Adobe After Effects. Is where you can do this Audio Spectrum. You're gonna need a song and a video background. I just have a picture right now. So what you're going to want to do is make a new composition by dragging your song onto this. Let's just rename this composition, go to composition settings, rename this tutorial. And now it's just a song, if I would play through it's just a song, so make sure to save often because this program will crash on you eventually. It happens every once. Uh, then you're going to want to drag your picture or video on. I had this picture from another YouTube channel um, that I was helping out with, so I thought you guys might enjoy it. Um, now you're going to want to add your audio spectrum. So you're going to make a new solid, you can right click and hit new solid, um, just name this Spectrum, name it whatever you want, or you can go to layer new solid, I'm not going to do that since I already have one. Um, now you click on your solid, click effect, generate audio spectrum, you can do it that way, or I already searched it in the effects and presets on the side, you could drag that straight on. Um, now you'll see you have all of these options and a uh, pink audio spectrum that is not moving. If you drag through, it does not move. So what you're going to want to do is you need to select audio layer, click your song. So I have a song by Dr. Beats, and now if I pan through, you'll see it bounces to the beat. Uh, start point and end point, that's where these ends of it are. So I'm going to put this at 0 for the left side and 1280 for the right side, because um, I'm using 1280 by 7 pixels that is YouTube HD and what you guys will be watching this in. Um, now your start frequency and end frequency. Um, that's the frequency of the song and like, uh, how, how, where it is set on the timeline. Um, I listen to all that EDM, electronic dance music, like dubstep and such. So um, it's more bass heavy. So if I would pan through, you'll see there's more to the left than the right. Uh, to even this out, what I do is I turn the end frequency around 1500, you can go a little lower if you want, I mean whatever floats your boat. Um, set it so that it's a little more even out. Uh, frequency bands, you know, that's how many of these things there are. You can have a 64, I think that's a good amount. Or you can drag it up something ridiculous like 50, like, you know, 1200. So it just looks like circles. Um, I personally usually keep this around 150, because I make, um, if you've seen this tutorial, I have it looks like this one really cool spectrum, but I actually have eight spectrums total. I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, I had to keep doubling it, but that's a little more advanced. Um, you guys can figure that out yourself. I'll let you play around with it a little bit. Um, now, maximum height. That's how high this goes to the max. Explained by the title. You can drag this up to something ridiculous, but I just personally think I don't like that. I usually like to keep this around 250 to 300. So I keep it at 300. Audio duration and offset. Uh, I don't really mess with those. Thickness and softness. I don't mess with these either. But you know, thickness makes it a little thicker. I personally like the three. Um, inside color. If I would have this in full quality, but I don't because it makes my computer lag. Um, you would see the inside is pink and the outside is more of a magenta. So let's say we want a nice green in here. So I'll select that green. And the outside's still pink. I can you know go in and select the same green. Or I can just drag this little, uh, click this little eyedropper and click the green. So now it's the same color. Save it again. Make sure it doesn't crash on you. Um, now you'll see side options here. Side A and B. Uh, side A is the top side. Side B is the bottom side. So you can put side A and B on both sides. And it's very, very nice effect. Um, now display options. This is where you can mess around with the most. Um, digital, you know, it's like these little lines. And a long line. It looks like a heartbeat almost, if you've ever seen those things. It's done as a heartbeat for like things they have in uh, hostels. I don't know the name of the movie. It's not coming to me now, but uh, you can see it there. Analog dots, I am personally not a fan of because it's just the dots. But you can combine this with multiple spectrum to uh, make it look very nice. Um, there's multiple tutorials on YouTube how to get more advanced into this. But uh, I'm just showing you the basics of the audio spectrum. Um, now that's really about it with this tutorial. I'm going to put this back on digital because that's my personal favorite. Uh, please hit that like button below if you enjoyed. Uh, hit that subscribe button up top for ZFix Education so you can stay tuned for more tutorials by me and other ZFix directors. And uh, make sure to come check out my channel, youtube.com slash via xninja. Uh, the link will be in the description.
Um, if you want to see any effects from any program, like a montage you see or an edit you see, um, send me a message on YouTube. Um, I can probably find a way to do it and see how it's actually done and um, try to show it to you guys. I make a lot of intros and I make a lot of uh, edits on my channel. Um, I've done another tutorial here at the moment, so you can go check that out if you want. Um, so you can request anything by a personal message to me or a comment in the description. Um, that is all for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Akuma Ninja Guy, and I'm out.